Hello once again. This is Alpha Mel 23 and welcome to my channel. So uh, today I'm gonna show you an interactive uh, application in in an in the LMS H5P. Uh, H5P is one of the tools in the LMS, so I'm gonna show you how to to do that. Specifically, we will use H5P question set. Okay, so let's let's do it. Okay. Now you need to, again you need a copy of of the digital module so that it would be very easy for us to to transfer this content here to our LMS. Of course, you, your your school should have an LMS so that you can do this. So what we're going to do, we found we found out that uh, I mean I found out that this uh, assessment here is very good. So I, I would like to adapt this, adapt this, and put this in our LMS. Okay, so turn editing on, and then let's go to the content bank. And then again, uh, we will be using the question set. So, what is this question set all about? Uh, this H5P application lets you uh, insert content with such as assessment, quizzes, or any other form of. Uh, assessment de depending on the kind of uh, you know kind of test so multiple choice test can be used also in the in the question set but not just multiple choice test we can uh, have different question type here so we can choose variety of question type we have multiple choice fill in the blanks drag and drop mark the words drag text true or false essay okay now for for this uh, activity because this is in a multiple question type of test or assessment we will use the content bank specifically multiple choice okay so title so we need to have, again this is uh, just copy paste copy and paste the title and the question set quiz introduction so let's have uh, let okay so we can also use the quiz introduction that the activity or the module has and let's have this intro also but because that's nice so that the student will feel uh, engaged in uh, doing this uh, assessment. Wow, you have done so great. It's time to assess. Okay, that's okay. And then let's add background image. So let's try to find uh, any background image here. Or uh, maybe in the pictures. Wait. Okay, let's again find pictures here, background, that will be used as background image. I have already, let's try to see if I have here. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, so again, let's find a background image that we can use in this. Uh, okay, so 
I can't access my downloads. I don't know what happened here, but uh, it's not working. It's not really working. Okay, so. Okay, so let's just find random image here in the Google. Say uh, EM waves like that images and okay say for example this one here and let's copy that I mean uh, save Alright, let's just save here. I can't uh, open my downloads. I don't know what happened, but let's just save that. And then let's go back to image and go to pictures. We have here this one. Okay, so that will be the background of our quiz. And... Uh, Progress indicator, let's uh, use textual so that uh, the student can see the number of items. Background image to the, this is uh, in the every item here. So we can leave this blank or we can use also uh, another background image. Maybe he, this one here or uh, this one. Okay, so let's just see later on if it works well, but I think uh, we, we have to have a clear, clear background image for this one. Oh, say, maybe this one. Okay, so we have here. Again, this is trial and error. We can uh, anyway edit this uh, as we go along. Okay, so next. All we need to do is copy all of these questions here, copy, and then here we need to select a question type. So we will select multiple choice, and then let's go to the textual tab so that we will not individually copy paste the item, but uh, we can copy paste the questions as a whole so let's just click OK and then paste and then let's uh, copy the rest of the item here like that it's just copy paste so okay so we have that then what we need to do is uh, let's format this so that it will appear as a uh, in a multiple choice format okay so let's just because we're going to have this one here like that and let's just save this one just to show you what will happen what will it, it what will it looks like if we, we will not edit that Okay, so this is uh, the appearance. So we need uh, we need a dark background for this. Let us assess. So let's just edit that. Okay, so what will happen if you don't edit the question? It will appear as like this: one whole text. So we would like we we don't want that to look like that. We need the uh, one question or one item every uh, every page of the question set okay so let's edit first we need to change the background I don't like the background because it's wave 
background and uh, say blue okay so images okay so you have here mm. you can have this uh, as background or you can leave that blank also if you want but it's nice to have a background in the beginning of the question set so that it will uh, it would appear to the students uh, pleasing on their end and they will find it engaging to do so let's try to check if it's okay already just save okay well, we haven't saved that in the background so let's change it now we save we have that in the background image a question so we will have it in the background image at the title okay okay so there you go it will appear in the introduction and we'll just add image for this portion here mm, okay see this one okay let's try check and see if it's oh, okay so we have here this is uh, the background here let us assess while well, we've done so great it's time to us and start the quiz and the background image that we put let's just see okay it, it's not uh, found because there are too many texts okay so next is uh, we need to edit we need to edit the text okay so what we need to do is separate them into items okay so we have here one two three four and then check the sentences it should be uh, one sentence to avoid uh, putting the remaining text in the choices if you don't connect all the sentences so, so as much as possible you fill in the sentence before going to the next uh, the next line okay so like that so we have 15 items okay so we've done the the copying next we need to fill in the answer so let's go to the second copy of the digital module and then let's go to the answer key rotate and then maximize i mean zoom in, in uh, dbc okay so first three items dbc so d b c let's just check if it's uh, correct no? light bulbs are another source of okay it's correct next four control tab if you want so you can go directly to the next tabs here acb okay let's go a c b next 
ACB next uh, C7 ACB also okay so ACB A oh wait let's just copy the A C and B let's check if they are uh, correct if the answer is correct. radar is used for communication radio development oh it's it's uh it's not right here so let's check the item number 10 number 10 number 10 okay number 10 is C okay C B C okay so number 10 is C again guys if going if doing this counter check I mean recheck the items number 7 we don't want to mm, end up editing again and finding the items uh, in the finished uh, output already it's difficult because uh, you have their choices as random questions and if you do if you do that you cannot uh, it's it's uh, it's hard to find the uh, items anymore a c b seven okay so there you go should be a c and b here what type of electromagnetic wave would you expect to be used frequently at the hospital to make okay uh, so let's just check number six number six i think we need to go back from the from the start here d b c okay so d b c okay correct number four just to check it the answer no is a c b okay so we have a so there you go this the this is the items that we put wrong answers I mean you put the answer key wrong for A C B then A C B okay so seven A C B okay it's going uh, fine now number ten C C C D okay next C C D eleven C C so so to to easily put the answer key you just need to copy the asterisk and then next time around you just uh, control v or copy paste or paste uh, directly but it's easy than uh, using shift shift 8 for the asterisk next 14 and 15 okay bb so again let's check C C radio detection and ranging correct C C D a radar uses radio waves C C D okay and then let's again let's go back B B okay so we have B and B okay so we put in the answers already and uh, formatted it into one item per page in the question set next is we're going to set the behaviors no so we have here random questions so we can do that but uh, mm, this will be done later once we are already uh, finalizing the questions because it, once we check that and saved randomized questions and there are wrong uh, answers to the questions there uh, it's very difficult to find the uh, questions later in the editing.
Okay, so next step is settings. Let's check this one. Show. Okay, it's just normal there. Just leave it like that. So let's just let's go to let's go to the default. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. Again, let's go to the default. Alright, let me check my. wait for a while we have a trouble here so this is what happens when it is live so we cannot really uh, control everything so I'm recording this live via satellite <laughs> via OBS okay so we have here let's go back to our where are we where are we now <laughs> Okay, so there you go. We have we are here in the default. A while ago we are on the textual. And, uh, this time we are in the default default tab. So why did we go here? Because we're going to. This is the the important one here. Behavioral se settings. Okay. So what we're going to do is uncheck randomized answer so that the ABCD sequence will not be randomly arranged once you refresh the question set so in order to avoid the ra getting the the ABCD choices rambled uncheck randomized answers okay next and we do this to all of the items Again, behavioral settings, sad check. Then next, number two, again, let's go back to behavioral settings. We do this 15 times. Number three, okay, behavioral settings, and check it. So, fifth item, behavioral settings, and check that. Sixth item, behavioral settings, and check that. Next, seventh item, behavioral settings, and check. Okay, so this is uh, a cycle, repeat cycle. So, thank you for subscribing, guys. If you have suggestions, comments, just comment down the comment down below and please do like and hit the notification bell for updates of my channel in terms of tutorial LMS or if you want to request tutorials in teaching science subjects I can do that because I'm a teacher in science science teacher and uh, if you want you can spread this good news by sharing this to the rest of your colleague community in your school if you are using LMS.
Okay? So, we're done unchecking the randomized answer. Okay? So, let's check if our if our question set works. If it 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 does not, let's edit and edit until it works. Okay? Click save and wait for it to load. Okay, so we have here, let us assess how, wh wow, you have done so great. It's time to assess what you, what we have gained in our journey. Okay, edit natin konti mamaya, no? Dapat what, maybe uh, what you have gained, no? Maybe, can be, can be also. Okay, so look at that. You have the background that we, we choose there at the back. And then we have this one out of 15 questions. If we, we choose dots there, uh, it will uh, leave us one, uh, 15 dots here. In the in the uh, tracking no? a while ago. So, we have here. So, as you can see, the... the the choices are not rumbled because we unchecked the randomized answer. No, if we didn't do that, maybe uh, B will be here, A here, and C uh, something like that. Okay, so let's let's try answer if it's working. A so random lang no. Okay, so. Like that. Which type of electron would you expect to find percolate the hospital's X-ray? Is it uh, electromagnetic wave treatment cancer patients gamma rays? And then let's the rest. Let's answer it randomly. And the last one. Okay, so let's just check finish. And you can see it's working guys. So we will have a minor edits like this one. We need to center the text here like that. Okay, so let's edit it directly and then upload this one. So uh, we have here, let us assess and let's check the introduction text and put it at the center and maybe a bold text. Okay, so like that. And we have here textual. If you check that dots, it will uh, the one two fifteen questions na statement will not appear. So I think uh, that will be the things that we should edit and let's view again. So look at that. It's pretty. It's, wow, you have done so great. It's time to assess what we have gained in our journey. So let's just let let that be the statement because it's from the module like here okay okay so then what we're going to do is upload this to our LMS let's go back to our course and then in the course we have here click add an activity or resource then click H5P I need to show this one because this is an assessment so something ha is to be set in the assess in the in the settings below the assessment unlike the other other applications that we have we just leave it leave it as is but this time since this is uh, an assessment of uh, the end of the module, we will change this one here. Highest grade, we will change that to first attempt. Which means that whatever the first answers or scores of the learner, that will be the ones to be recorded. So that uh, they cannot uh, repeat the and uh, activity must receive a grade. Oh no, must complete the activity. Okay, so this setting here first attempt lets you record 
or tells you tells the the system to record the first attempt of the learner okay so we we do that only on the assessment because uh, that's the time that we we will get the students uh, learning for the module for the module this uh, in this case for the module 2 okay so let's edit okay there we go guys and let's check double check once again and there you see okay start and that is it's working very well so so that's it guys thank you for watching so see you in the next video please do uh, comments if you want leave a like and share our channel so that it will keep on growing and god bless us all see you in my next video